The grinds, the quests. There is so much to do in RuneScape, so much to explore. Today we will be exploring the rich history of RuneScape. If you really want to understand the game you are playing, you must know its history. Most of us know of Gothics. Maybe some of us even think he was the creator of RuneScape. Nothing could be less true. Gothics talked about elder gods that created powerful artifacts, which he used to bring races and gods to Gileanor. The ones that actually created everything are called the Elder Gods. These are legendary and divine entities responsible for creating the planets and life in the universe. If we are talking about gods like Zamorak or Zeras, these stand far above them. Even the god Gothix was nothing compared to them, even though he had some great accomplishments. There are five Elder Gods that are known to us. Jazz is the oldest and the most powerful of the Elder Gods. Jazz is the creator of most Elder Artifacts. These artifacts are objects of great power and anyone that has used them in history has been considered to be a god. D these artifacts were used to create a perfect world. Gileanor was their final creation and then they seemingly vanished. Ful is the Elder Goddess of Constancy and Fire. She created the Elder Kiln and the Takahara race. The Elder Kiln is a powerful artifact that manufactures living implements. With this artifact, the Takahara were created. Their great purpose was fulfilling the orders of the Elder Gods, creating a perfect world. The Elder Gods were dissatisfied with the initial work of the Takahara, but with time, they became more experienced in shaping mountains and tunnels. So the Tokha were the ones cre that created the landscape of Gileanor. Wen is the elder god that is related to ice and the cold. She's responsible for the cold places in Gileanor. Bik is the elder god related to the forest and trees. Ma was the elder god responsible for creating Zeras, Saren, the Majora tribe and the Maspa and was the only known elder god to have deliberately created life for purposes other than protecting elder artifacts or building worlds. According to the Majorat legends, she is an evil goddess that is said to have created the Majorat atop a volcano, which led the Majorat to call her Mother Ma. Ma created the Maspa in Fresque, the realm that is the homeworld of the current elder gods Zeres, Siren and the Majorat race. To understand more about Ma and Freneske, we have to understand the cycles that the Elder Gods go through. In RuneScape, there is a multiverse with thousands of worlds. The Elder Gods try to create the perfect world and then retire for an unknown amount of time in the perfect planet. In Freneske, there were five eggs from which the current generations of Elder Gods Jazz, Fool, Wen, Big and Ma would eventually hatch. When they did, the new elder gods drained Freneske's enemy Mandi in order to nourish themselves. The enemy Mandi could be described as the life force of a planet. With the power they gained from this act, they were able to carry out the Great Revision and destroy the entire multiverse, except for Freneske itself. However, the act of draining the world's NMI permanently disfigured it, transforming it from a perfect world into a blasted wasteland that it is today, as well as presumably extinguishing all the world's native life. The Elder Gods then departed Freneske to begin shaping the multiverse in search of creating a new perfect world. Something went wrong and Ma didn't get enough enemy and appeared to be stillborn. The other four elder gods left her on Feneske, believing her to be dead. Ma survived and took up residence on Feneske, but never developed sentience or consciousness, only instinct. Her first instinct was to take what little divine energy she possessed and used it to create two beings to keep her company as playthings. These beings, the divine aspects of dark and light energy, both of which Ma symbolized, would come to be known as Zeras and Sirin, respectively. Ma often had nightmares, 
during which she would unconsciously create other forms of life. The most notable of these were the Majera, a race of mortal but long-lived shapeshifters and warriors that came into being during one of Ma's dreams about Zeros and Siren. The Majera lived a very harsh and dangerous life on Furnace never numbering more than a few hundred at a time, and at several points nearly going extinct, and came to worship Mother Ma as their creator god. The Elder Gods created powerful artifacts that now reside on Gileanor. The catalyst, commonly known as the Stone of Jazz, was one of the better known artifacts. It was the most powerful and the first one created. It expresses the power of its creator, Jazz, the Elder Goddess of Progression. She used it to create most other artifacts, aside from the Elder Killen, the Measure, and possibly others. But not specifically a weapon, it grants its users part of its immense power. It had guardians called the Dragonkin, a race enslaved and cursed by Jazz to feel agonizing pain when the stone was misused. When the stone was misused, the Dragon King were granted power equal to what was given to the user and were tasked to destroy them, making it one of the most risky artifacts to use. Throughout Gileanor, the Dragon King have not been able to stop false users, but their power has since been supplemented, and thus they are nearing Godhood themselves. The Siphon, commonly known as the Staff of Armadale, is the second most used artifact in the history of Gileanor, due to it being the second most powerful elder artifact behind the Stone of Jazz. It amplifies its user's magical capabilities and serves as a conduit for power in general. Used by the elder gods to fuse elements cleanly and with precision. It was found by Gothix on Gileanor during the First Age when he was traveling between dimensions with his sword. Gothix hid it before sleeping in the middle of the perfect world to let mortals enjoy a world without gods. It was found again by Armadale during the Second Age and became known as the Staff of Armadale. His followers adapted the symbol from the staff. Notable users of the staff include Zemerok, Lucien, and Sliska. The Killen, commonly known as the Elder Killen, is both an Elder artifact and a means of creating artifacts. And the artifacts it creates are considered to be the same artifact as the Killen. The most well known of these creatures are the Tokhar and the mysterious statues. The Tokhar Consider themselves to be elder artifacts, but it is debatable whatever the elder gods would agree with this. The Killen was created by the elder goddess Fool on a planet different from Gileanor, while the elder gods attempted to create the perfect world. They failed numerous times, and Fool would take the Killen and the Tokar to the next project each time. When the work on Gileano was done, the Tokka built a great mountain around the Elder Kiln and returned to live within it to await further instructions. According to the Tokka, younger gods are beings that abuse the artifacts of the Elder Gods in order to gain a massive amount of power. To date, the Tokka are also the only known sentient artifacts instead of just being an object. When a Tokar dies, they return to lava. Anything else that falls into the sacred lava is resurrected as Tokar as well. The blade is known as Gothic's sword. After picking it up when Skaragarf dropped it during the Naragi God Wars, Gothic used it to wound Tuska and kill Skaragarf, making him ascend to godhood. He then used the sword to cut up portals between worlds, allowing him to create the world gate. The Elder Sword currently lies shattered in Gothic's cave, too dangerous to be used and still crankling with energy. The Locator, known as the Crown Archival, is an artifact that enables the user to locate all the other artifacts, but also enables the users of the other artifacts to locate the crown in return, making it one of the most useful and risk artifacts to be used. 
The Elder Gods discarded the crown fairly quickly and never meant to use it again, apparently no longer deeming it necessary to be able to locate their artifacts. Upon his arrival in Gileanor, Gothic started to explore the world and found several Elder artifacts. One of these discoveries was a horn which he kept hidden. It came into possession of Quinn, a powerful sea singer and self-proclaimed goddess in the Pincer region of Wushanko's Isles. There's been speculation that it could be the Frost Horn, but this has been confirmed as false. This may have been a drinking horn that turned Marimbo into a goddess. The Elder God used this horn to communicate it with the Tokhar and control him. The current location of the horn is unknown. There could be more artifacts, but there is no information about them so far. This was the story of the current cycle of Elder Gods. We don't know anything about the past cycles of Elder Gods, and we'll probably never know. What we do know is that the Elder Gods are not the first beings in the universe. We also know the locations of the Elder Gods. Jazz is under the Caradian Desert, Full is under the Karamya Volcano, Big is under Atrena, and Wen is under the White Wolf Mountain. I hope you understand more about the beginning of RuneScape and the Elder Gods. The next episode will be about Gothics. Have a great day.